Thanks very much. I want to begin by uh, thank, saying thank you for that welcome to country and to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the Bardijawi people, uh, their elders, past and present, to acknowledge the many, the many elders from across the West Kimberley who are here today. And today's announcement is an acknowledgement of all of our ancestors, because the story of today has a political history that goes back to 2008, has a history in pearling and pastoralism, which is a century old, has a history of the traditional owners with rock art dating back tens and tens and tens of thousands of years, and has a geological history which is two billion years old. And today, what we're acknowledging is that all of that is a critical part of the Australian story. The National Heritage List is an attempt to put together and to imagine a list of the places which define Australia. You cannot imagine a list that defines Australia without including the West Kimberley. And today, I'll be adding the West Kimberley to the National Heritage List. The National Heritage Council has gone across and collected so many of the stories of the West Kimberley. Stories of more recent times of a beautiful pearling culture, of the, the longest drove in Australian history, 120 years ago, right through to Fossil Down Station, of more recent history and fight at Nukumba to preserve rights. A cultural history seen through rock art, a cultural history seen in so many different ways as telling the story and understanding the story of the Kimberley. From our oldest and longest dinosaur trail, there off the coastline in that intertidal zone, through to some of the most stunning geological formations in the world. All areas which, unless there's a heritage listing, when environmental approvals come to me, I'm not allowed to take them into account. And yet every traditional owner, indeed every Australian, I believe, in their hearts knows that they should be taken into account. I need to make clear a National Heritage Listing is not a lock-up zone of an area. It's an identification of particular values. And it says that these are values that when someone wants to change to introduce something new, they've got to at least be taken into account. They have to be considered. And from today on, they will be considered. Some of the values go to simply acknowledging magnificent parts of our history whether it's the story of Jandamurra, whether it's some of the areas and those magnificent gorges that you find for people love as they drive along the Gibb River Road, whether it's the mighty Fitzroy, whether it's the majesty of the power of the tides that are behind us as we speak right now throughout that entire archipelago, tides so strong that waterfalls can be timed for exactly when they'll flow as that water moves between the islands and the magnificent history of the canoes or rafts, particular to this part of Australia, particular to this part of the world, where the tides were able to provide the method of propulsion and nothing that you could use by steering or sail would ever compete with the power of the tides. All of these stories are the stories of the West Kimberley, and you cannot have a list that defines the different values across Australia without including them on it. I took a view some time ago that it was impossible for me to deal with this one as I deal with many heritage listings and to simply sign off the documents in Canberra and issue a media release. This story has a home, this listing has a home, and it's a decision that could only be made from today. So immediately after I conclude, I'm not here with a media release to make an announcement. I'm actually here to make the decision. And on 
at a stone table over there, I'll actually be able to, uh, in front of you, perform the action of listing the National Heritage Listing. Subsequent today, each of the traditional owner groups will be sent their own copy so that you'll have it to hold for yourselves. Subsequent today, each of the environmental groups that were involved in this listing will be able to have their own copy. And some of the tourism groups represented here today, where I know it's passionately part of what they believe is an acknowledgement of the beauty that the Kimberley has to share with Australia and the world, I'll make sure that they've got copies for themselves as well. But we will today be able to make formal presentations on behalf of the environmental groups, on behalf of the traditional owners and for the role of the Kimberley Land Council. I'd love to acknowledge by name a whole lot of those involved. Obviously my parliamentary colleague Glenn Stirl is here. Uh, to go beyond that, uh, I think there is no chance of doing it without leaving out people who are intrinsically part of this being possible. So forgive me for not going through a long list of names. But I will say, when we look at the area, while it's not being locked up, there is a level of protection that comes with a heritage listing. There are issues that forevermore will need to be taken into account. If you wanted the Kimberley to become the new Pilbara, you would oppose this decision. If you wanted Broome to become the new Dubai, you would oppose this decision. If you love the Kimberley, as I do, and the people here do, if you accept there will be sensitive development, but it needs to be sensitive. And there are issues that simply need by definition to be taken into account. Then today's listing is something which deserves everybody's support. This is the part of the Australian continent where every day ends with the sun still shining here. And it's not simply a case of oh, how much of it has been untouched. It's beyond that. There is a magnificence here that belongs nowhere else in the world. And as a nation, we should acknowledge it, we should celebrate it, and future considerations of different developments that want to be considered must, must forevermore take account of it. It's an absolute privilege to be here today. Today belongs to the people who told the stories. Today belongs to the scientists who did the research. Today belongs to the ancestors of the people here today, both traditional owners and the ancestors of, the, of many of the pastoralists who may have been involved in the droving. There is a magnificent history here. You can't understand Australia without recognising it. I'd like now to put the West Kimberley on the National Heritage List.